Hello everyone! Welcome to our vlog! This is Mimi Guapa! This morning, we will have another recording of our daily devotional reading series. We are reading from the book Our High Calling, written by Mrs. Ellen Goldwhite. We are doing this kind of activity for us to have a closer relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what religion you belong to, as long as you are a Christian and you believe that the Lord uh, Jesus is our Savior and that you want to have a closer personal relationship with Him, this video is for you. So please stay tuned until the end of this video and may you be inspired by our reading for today. May this will also be included in your daily playlist so that you can listen to it or read with us as we be ponder upon the words that will enable us to be better citizens of the Lord's kingdom. Now for today's reading, June 21, it is entitled 1 to 100. Before we continue on, may I invite you to please seek the Lord with me in prayer. Let us pray. Our Supreme Lord, the Creator of heaven and earth, we thank you for all the bounties that we have received from the kingdom. We thank you, Father, for waking us up to have this another day to worship you in spirit and in truth. As we have our daily devotional reading today, may you be with us, Lord. May you open our hearts and our minds and you work in us so that we will be inspired. We will be more blessed by our readings and our, as we listen to it. God, we invite you to be with us in our daily transactions so that it will be more successful and it will yield more fruits. Guide us always, dear Father, because on our own we cannot do anything, but with you all things are possible. We entrust you our lives, Lord, and this we ask because we have the power in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 1 to 100, June 21. Then came Peter to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Till seven times? Jesus saith unto him, I say not unto thee, until seven times, but until seventy times seven. Matthew chapter 18, verses 21 and 22. There is a great work before us. There are men and women straying from the fold of Christ, and as, I de as they become cold and indifferent, and lose all disposition to return, they will not run after you. You must take them where they are. You, when you find a wandering sheep, call him to the fold, and leave him not until you see him safely enfolded there. Go out for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. If there is any point on which you have committed one wrong, although he may have committed one hundred, take that which you have done out of the way and open the way for him to come back again. Perhaps that was the very thing that was keeping a soul away. In your humility, confess your one wrong, and perhaps it may touch him and lead him with weeping to confess his hundred wrongs, and to take them out of the way. Thus, a soul for whom Christ died will be saved. You may say I have tried to save this one and that one, and they have only wounded me, and I am not going to try to help them anymore. But do not become discouraged if they do not at once return to the fold. Reach out! Steal for your fellow mortals around you. You shall reap if you faint not. Press together. Do not make little riches of slight differences of opinion and drive them in to separate heart from heart. But see how you can love one another even as Christ has loved you. See how you can forgive those who trespass against you even as you want your Father in heaven to forgive your trespasses. Then, you can be definite in your requests. 
You can be bold in Christ, for Christ presents your requests to God with the heavenly credentials which are His own righteousness, and you can believe that Christ does hear, believe that He does bless, and say, I am His, and He is mine. And for today's reading. Thank you everyone for listening and for staying tuned until the end of this video. May you are blessed by our reading today and that you are reminded that if we confess one sin and make our brother feel that they are welcome, that you are asking for their forgiveness, it may open them to the horizon of confessing their hundred sins so that there will be a unity inside the church a unity inside your relationship and that you will be bonded stronger in the Lord because God and Christ does only one thing he, he wants only one thing for his children is that they love one another just as he loved us and he sacrificed his life for us so I hope my dear brothers and sisters in your dealings for today may you be reminded of God's love for you and that you will be more kind and more passionate in your transactions. God bless you. Adieu.